Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday afternoon. We are here in Joe Boo's Man Cave, and we've got all kinds of stuff that's going on right now. We are, of course, the Cowboys. We talking here. We sitting here talking about practice. Not, not the game. Not the game that we love. We talking about practice. The Cowboys, after having practiced yesterday against uh, the Rams for the second time in a week and having a scrimmage against them on Sunday, actually had practice today getting ready for the Raiders. This game is huge for a lot of guys because the third scrimmage is basically the consolation bowl, the last opportunity for you to make the team or to uh, basically put film on for other teams to pick you up. This is the one that's really kind of the meat of the bones that helps the team decide on who they really want and what, you know, if you're going to be first string, second string, and so on. Um, this is huge. So we've got that Saturday night, 930 Eastern against the Raiders, and we'll be, of course, live streaming during the game. Um, Dak Prescott was commenting about the contract situation. Um, yesterday, you may know, that Stephen A. Smith was talking about the whole secure Sanders to the Cowboys along with Deion Sanders and everything else. I have to say, I'm, I'm going to say that I think that the Dallas Cowboys actually, and this is, maybe this is just what always happens. We get beat down so bad by the talking heads that the Cowboys didn't sign any free agents, that they're not really in. And don't look at it and say, you know, the Cowboys have a way of developing guys that replace people that go. You know, Dorrance Armstrong was actually better than Randy Gregory. Malik Hooker, you have to actually look at it and say Malik Hooker is that free agent signing is one of the better safeties we've had in a very long time. You know, when you look at what, you know, uh, Xavier Woods and, you know, when we signed guys like Clinton Ha Ha Dix and we were opining for the Earl Thomas that just went cray cray or the Jamal Adams, you have to look at it and say the Cowboys fixed a, a, a position of need that was bad need and we don't talk about needing safeties anymore and i feel like they've done that with linebacker as well and so if this season is going to be successful the bet that the cowboys made is mozzie smith is going to be better than what we got with hankins and if he's not we ended up getting um phillips who is a younger version of hankins with less miles on him that's also another big piece you know, so you look at it and say, we filled in the holes. And instead of saying that we're going to go ahead and have um, a safety playing linebacker, we got Eric Kendricks. We got back Agent Zero, okay? And he looks as good as advertised. Some people say, expect him to be a pro bowler this year. I'm not going to go crazy and say that. Let's see what happens. I mean, let's get to the regular season before we start putting people in the pro bowl. But Dak Prescott, without CeeDee Lamb there, Hopefully, C.D. Lamb comes in and he's in shape. He's not any, you know, any, any um, after effects of not being there. What this has done for Jalen Tolbert and Dak Prescott has been huge. And I want to show you guys, wow, the connection between Jalen Tolbert and Dak Prescott is huge. Watch this. And, and I'm going to say he drops this right in the basket. I don't know if you can see it very well. Here we go. This is a mojo moment. Look at that deep pass. <clears throat> yeah, let, let's watch it again. I, I could watch this all day. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. Jalen Tolbert. One more time. Pay the man. Pay the man. Okay? Now, Dak Prescott, in the press conference after practice, was asked about how things were going with the contract situation. He said, I have good people. I have good people that uh, are working on it, and things are progressing. So, you know, we're hearing, of course, Stephen Jones, who's saying that, you, you know, people are expecting this thing to be done immediately, but there's a lot of moving parts to this thing, and it takes time. 
So, you know, he did say that they're hoping to have this done by week one before the season starts, which is, mind you, 21 days. They got three weeks to get this thing together. Stephen Jones also says the hopes to have one or two of these things done uh, soon. So that would be Dak and CD or CD and maybe not Dak, but definitely Micah Parsons. I don't see them um, redoing his contract uh, right now. I would say that would probably end up being next year because that's what the Cowboys do. They always wait till the last minute to get anything done. So we'll see where this goes. Um, I, I can't wait to actually get to the season. Um, Ed Werder was talking about Matthew jo uh, Jordan. Um, okay, we're not talking about that. Okay, sorry, wrong person. Um, that trade right there. That was the one that people looked at and said, hey, let's get that guy. But I'm okay with Carl Lawson. And, you know, hopefully... Hopefully this isn't a repeat of what we got in 2020 where we did go out and get a lot of aging veterans from uh, Don Terry Poe. We ended up getting Emerson Griffin and we got Gerald McCoy and we got Clinton Ha Ha Dix along with Mike Nolan who didn't know what to do with them. And it just didn't work out. Hopefully this is a better situation um, with these guys, with Mike Zimmer. I will take Mike Zimmer over Mike Nolan any day of the week but i think that there's a plan here this isn't just we're just going to sign a bunch of guys I, I look at this defense and i say that they're looking to be very heavy and run stopping ability big guys that are able to control the line of scrimmage and that's truly what mike zimmer likes to do all right good people as always i appreciate each and every one of you guys and um I can't wait to get some more of the highlights and the clips. And we'll be bringing some more of those to you guys soon. Right now, i got to go back out here and paint some more siding that we've got a repair job. We have to do, um, yeah, I, my work is never done. My work is never done. No matter what I do, I still got more work to do. And I will see you guys a little bit later. As always, I appreciate you. Peace out.